Education, Mr. Her Tier. <laughs> Lord bless us to bless us this day. Let us uh, let us come together and, uh, and 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 do the work of this board. Um, bless us that we're we're, we're prosperous and fruitful. Uh, Lord uh, bless us as we're all leaving and, and going going about our day. The rest of the day, keep everybody safe in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. 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 All right, you have had a chance to look over the minutes from last meeting. Do I have a motion. Make a motion to approve. I have a motion. A second. There's a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any objections? <coughs> Motion carries. All right, we have first case file number 2024-15-V, 20, open a public hearing to consider approval of the request of Allen Hall owner for a variance of section 14-7-5 of the City of Odessa Zoning Ordinance to allow a structured carport to be built with a zero front yard setback instead of the required 25 feet front yard setback in uh, still have the last one in a two family one zoning district lot four block 14 Brentwood subdivision first filing replat 2716 Brentwood Drive there it is there we are there is. Uh, good morning uh, good morning chairman and board um, to start we had 21 notices sent zero return mail zero approved and zero protests the property involved in this uh, request is located at 2716 Brentwood Drive. The site is currently zoned two family one zoning district and, and is occupied by a single family residence. The property is surrounded by a single family residence development to the north, south, east, and west. The applicant is Allen Hall, owner, and the purpose of the request is for a variance to allow a structured carport to be built with a zero foot front yard setback instead of the required 25 feet front yard setback. The applicant is requesting a variance from section 14-7-5 of the City of Odessa zoning, zoning Ordinance. Staff analysis of this request is that the property is located within the carport overlay. However, the current, current two family one zoning district is not included in the carport overlay ordinance 2024-17. Staff analysis of this, is, uh, of this request is that there are no special conditions associated with the property that do not exist for others in the area. The applicant's request is to reduce the front yard setback to zero feet front yard setback instead of the required 25 feet front yard setback will create a precedence for the, for the surrounding properties to, to follow. Staff would recommend that the carport be attached to the main residence in order to allow a six foot front yard setback to avoid any traffic hazards or hardships to surrounding properties in relation to light, air, or open spaces. Should the board choose to approve this request, the planning staff would re recommend the adoption with the following conditions. One, the carport shall not be enclosed in the future. Two, no other structures or additions may be placed within the 25 feet front yard setback. <coughs> Three, no other structures or additions shall be placed on the property without first contacting the building inspection department and obtaining a building permit. We will now uh, open up to questions. So this is in a two two F one. So that's that's a two family subdivision, or, the, or the, more than just a single family. That's a that's a multifamily zone. Why is this one classified two F one? So the zoning in the area, um, this particular subdivision, when it was created, it was requested to be a two-family one zoning district. Um, some of the areas um, are, I think it's to the north mainly, are single family are, and do fall in within the carport overlay. When the carport overlay zone was uh, created and adopted, um, the 2F1 zoning district was not included. It was only for intended for the single family one, two, and three zoning districts. Okay, so in, with with that, so this house is just a, it's a single family home. Correct. Just yes, in sir. a multifamily subdivision. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. <coughs> now, I heard you uh, mention the overlay. Can yes. you explain that to me? Yes. So uh, the city council currently ad well, adopted an overlay zone. It's a carport overlay. And it's an ordinance which allows uh, zoning districts within uh, single family one, two, and three 
to be able to place a carport in front of the property uh, within the and reduced the setback to a five foot instead of the regular 25 foot. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? <clears throat> Go back one more picture, Maria, whoever, where it shows the, the distance from the house. Uh, now, there was one that said 25 feet or 35 feet. That, is it 32 feet from the house to the back of curb? Yes. It's 32. So from the back of curb to the property line is actually seven. Yes. Seven foot back of curb. So that gives you the 25, so it'll be right <clears throat> on zero. Okay, go go forward. I think it's two pictures. I'm just I'm I'm I have a question here. Uh, one more. Okay, you've got six foot there. Is that a is that for drainage between the house? Is that a curb to keep it from hitting? What is what is that? Okay, and that's this. But well, well, we, we can't yeah. do that. Okay. We can't. Yeah. We, uh, yeah, so we got to open. Sure, the, I would have to call the the owner in order to answer that okay. question for you. Got you. Got you. That probably is better for the public hearing. I apologize. I'll yeah. we'll do that here in just a second. Okay. Any other questions for Mr. Reyes? No? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Reyes. Now we open the section of the meeting to the public. Anybody who wants to speak for or against the variance, please stand up. Sure. If you could please state your name and address for the record, please. Yes, sir. My name is Alan Hall. This at my house of the Variance Rasking Port, 2716 Brentwood. This is my wife, Shelly Hall. Awesome. Thank you. And uh, what you was looking at, that the carport can be set back. That, that's just a curb there that's in front of the, it's just like a stop so you don't, you know, go up and hit your house or whatever. Okay. There's All no the drainage. Yes. It makes sense. I, I was just trying to figure out if that was like a drainage channel, if it sloped yeah, down. No. Is it okay? No, it, it's the, we, we can only have, because for the record, this is being recorded, so only one person at a time. Okay. I'm sorry, just one, one okay. person at a time. That's fine. And what you see there is just a motorcycle in between the house and that curb there. Okay. The carport could actually be set back that six foot there, not against the house, you know. And, and uh, there's plenty of room to put it there, you know, to where there's still not a, there's still plenty of room for the sidewalk and you know it wouldn't block view from any traffic going down the road or anything it wouldn't it wouldn't obstruct anybody's view as far as traffic goes and there are some you know farther down the street that, that you know have been there and they look good that are like that but like the ones we was trying to get but like i said we talked with the uh people that build the carports that we was going to order from and we can shorten it or, or whatever we need to do if that would help, you know, to help get the variance. And the main reason we're asking is that uh, you know how hot the sun is here and it, man, it, we've, we've had hail damage twice, which is, you know, of course, but the, the sun also is eating up our navigation systems on our car. We've had them replaced even. And it's already back to where we need them replaced again and they quit working. And also, it's a. I mean, it it would be better as far as winter time, which we don't get much snow, but you don't have to wait 30 minutes to thaw out your ice off your car and vehicles. But yes, sir. Yes. But there is, if there's anything we can do to to make the carport better, you know, to where we could get it approved, uh, I'd appreciate it. Uh, let us know, and we could do it. Thank you, Mr. Hall. I appreciate you. Ms. Right, Hall, do you, you want to say anything? Add to it? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ms. Hall. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? All right. We close the section of the meeting to the public. Board. Do I have a motion? Do I have any discussion? Do so we can. I the, the thing I see is if we do allow this, I would suggest we attach it to the house, push it back, and give us that setback a little bit more setback than a zero.
basically all the carports that we've always approved or done they're attached to the house and we give them their 14 foot to the pole with the four foot overhang <clears throat> which this is 19 so it's just that extra foot so you're giving them a 19 foot carport either or this is just pushing it too far to the sidewalk yeah <clears throat> so is that a motion <coughs> Could be a question. Am I reading it right? It's, it's a nine by nineteen. Nineteen by nineteen. 19 by, oh, nineteen by nineteen. 19 by 19. Okay. All right. Will you go back to where the measurements at? That one. That one. So if we do it off the house. You have a seven foot back of curb to property line plus another seven foot, so now it puts you 14 foot off a of back of curb instead of seven. So you got back of curb plus five foot of, car, of sidewalk that gets you two feet off the sidewalk only. Yeah, it's the sidewalk is five feet, up, mm -hmm. um, and then you'll have uh, the seven, it's probably it's 12. Back of curb to property is 12? No, yeah, if, you'll have seven. You it, yes, if you move it forward, yes. Yeah, what I'm looking at is you go back a curb to the sidewalk, that five foot, it only puts you two foot off the sidewalk for that carport. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's this far off your sidewalk where people walk or whatever. What do you think that number should be? If we move it back, it'll put us another, set, another six foot back. Yeah. So now you're at eight foot off the eight sidewalk foot. instead of two foot. If we attach it to the house. Yeah. So do I have a motion? I motion that if we approve it, it needs to be attached to the house and with all the other city requirements after that. Second. I have a motion to um, attach the carport to the house with the city recommendations. Um, and then second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any objection? Motion carries. All right. All right. Do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Motion. Second. Second. And a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Everybody have a great day. All right. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you. Mm -hmm.